All right, hello and welcome back. We are right where we left off in the last episode. What is this? Uh, some coffee? Let's go. We are on our way to find our common room. Can I just go anywhere? What's this over here? I just realized you guys can hear anything. We're here. Let's go find the common room. Up it up, up it up, up it up. Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can flush the toilet. This is the best game in the world. Must be different. Starting what is this? What? Hello, fellow Gryffindor ladies. Ew. I'm the only badass. What is this? What do I do with that? Oh, here's my common room. What is she doing up there? I don't talk to her. Whoa, no, never mind. What is she doing? Still not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. What are you doing? Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendid theatrical arrival. What is she the doing in the background? Why she look like that? Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Yeah, I studied I'm with him a little bit. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Is it really? Mm, I'm Don't sure worry. you'll get it. You'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If She's I can get She's it, this. Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Cressida? Enjoy your first day. Hmm. She seems cool. What is she doing? Nah. She got everybody's attention in here. I don't want to talk to her. Um, I would really like someone to try it. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. What is that? That's you brewing. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. What? Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. That's what I'm saying. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. I know, what you got Are in your you mug? Are you having butterbeer? For breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though... 
I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Now I need to show off. What are you doing up here? Shame you I don't want to meet you. I'm sure you like any moment. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. You came maybe don't I kind of like me. it. You're a little dirty. I find it oh. helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yeah, I almost died. It was terrifying. It's true. And I was almost killed. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. How awful for you. And of course, that poor man from the Ministry. But still, you got to see a dragon. I know anyway, it was kind of vibe. You certainly brought vibe. some much needed bad, excitement bad, to Gryffindor. Dragon, was, was like, and Hogwarts, for that dragon, matter. And dragon attack this thing is kind of cool. Mm. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Mm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, yeah, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I would think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. Yes. New oh my god, she just jumps right Professor back up. Weasley's there. waiting for you outside the common room. She's struggling. She's struggling. <laughs> Get up there. You said who what's doing the what way? I have to climb to a hole? What the heck? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. What? How's that? Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Where the hell did you just put that? Where'd it go? Thank you, Oof. Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with I mean, me and we shall put it to the test. This way, Lumos. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Tego! 
Ah, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Professor. I certainly really appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide that will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I'm coming, Professor. Wait. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ah, the guide appears to have some information. What the for hell you about is that, that painting of poor animal Bobby. doing to that person? What is that? Simply cast Revelio on it. Revelio. And we'll see what the guide says. What's happening here? A Berifio. This portrait depicts the wizard Berifio. Famed for its brain elixir. And is an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F. And found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. He said S instead of F. A field guide challenge. Challenges. Your field guide challenge to track your current challenge progress. Select challenges menu to continue. Okay, challenges. The hell was that? Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for me. Oh, spells. Images like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. The kitty! Hello! No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field blue guide flames. contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You discovered flu flames. Blue flaming. And here we are. What the Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. What the hell? Who's that guy? Revelio. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Get that one in the face. <sighs> Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Is she talking? What the hell? Let's go. Professor! Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. 
My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring totally ruins? Try. Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Yep. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. I'm a natural. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. So much talking. I was hoping I'd be in the class classes today before you immersed your yourself in studies. And brewing potions. Did I hear you and all that? Professor Weasley talking. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. I ain't no snitch, Professor. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is that? enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Let's go, defense against the dark eye. God. It's a little Dobie. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What the? Dobie? Hello? What the hell happened to him? It's another cat. This one got some big ass eyes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Give me out of there. Oh, this way. Excuse me. I gotta get the class. What is this? Hmm. Why are they looking at me like that? Why are they watching me? <clears throat> Let's begin our first class! Is that all you've got? Yeah. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly yeah. took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso! Levioso! Ooh! You see that, Professor? Now, let's try something a little larger. Everybody move out the way. Yeah, I got this. You ready for this? You ready for this, Professor? Let us begin with a basic cast. Ha! See how the dummy deflected your cast. This Stupid time, dummy. cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Levioso. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Good. Uh. Now, the basic work. Levioso. Levioso. Mm, keep him in the sky. Uh. Very good. But you see the, the professor? best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only what the Oso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso! <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Levioso! Come on! Protego? Get on! Oh, I knocked them off! Let's just say I'm a I class. won! Not bad for a beginner. What's up? You give as good as you get. <laughs> Stupid Slytherin. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Yep. Points to Gryffindor! Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, 
Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Hey, look. Huh. Always thought Leviosa was for first years. Not anymore. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Leviosa. Leviosa. Nah, I should be able to do nice that. Work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy <laughs> if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. What? Sounds suspicious. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you you're going about? to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, I or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just get have myself to be clever enough a different not story. to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Who the wedding? Till next time. Off on another adventure, are we? How do we get up there? Let's go! Brum, brum, brum. What the? Ghost? Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Here. The hell's going Behind on? Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Color changing Anyone? growth times. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> what? Uh, hmm. What are you talking Do about? Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? I just got here. Mm, well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. I 
Akio. Akio. Ah, uh, give me that book. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking I'm the only one who did it. that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Quidditch. <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our Did I get to fly? the summoning charm to the that test? Flying uh, right? flying with, with uh, uh, prohibited uh, a band. I thought we were grounded from flying or some whatever the fuck Professor Black said. Oh, it's this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> So why don't we have oh, our new students like start us That's off? Hmm? Sorry, eh? I'm too excited. I want to fly. I get it, Akio. You pull things. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The what? trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Very good! Oh, I get it. You see that, Professor? You see that, Professor? Splendid! It's gonna fall. No! Uh, I blame it on you, Professor. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some. There's Quidditch back there. Miss Onai, would you I care see the to stands. give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? You yes, got none sir. You got none I mean, Onai. Watch this. Are you serious? And she then just walks off like a badass? Who do you think you are? Ready for this? Shit! I can't even again. God damn it. I'm like, there's no way you get 50 again. Yes. I gotta get 50 on this one. Stop! Stop! Let's go! She's about to push my ball off. That is how it's done. Are you ready? This is how it's done. Akio! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's it! That's how you do it. Mary, the winner. Summoner's court winner. What up? Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? You gotta go again? I already won. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Smack her ball. God damn it. There we go. You ready for this? Do 
do not think I will start going easy on you now. Ready? You ready? Akio! God damn it! I got 32. Hit her ball, hit her ball, hit her ball. God damn it. They get 30 twice. Let's go. That's how you do it. Well done. Lisa. Wait. My ball got knocked off so it don't count? That is how it's done. I have to get 50. Come on. Let's go. I win. Let's go. In your face. What's up? What's up? Very good, both of you. Well That's done. how it's done. That's how it's done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. From what? My Wagadu? mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Oh, it's nice to well, meet you. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. <laughs> and with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Oh, like this? Well, Akio, you'd be using it on clothing. After my brother learned this... A word, if you would. No, I want to talk to Chris Adar. Bro. You wanted you want, to professor? speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Said Expect what? to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. What do you mean by that? I'm never coming back here again. Mavioso! Akio! Fine then. Revelio. What kind of secrets are you holding in here? They're all behind there. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah, what do you Hello. want? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've Samantha been eager Dale. to meet you. You're How the you? student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. Right. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. The who the what and the who what? Let's go. 
been ages since I've sent an owl back home. And the werewolves joined the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the oh minister for magic Albert Boot. He's here. No, he oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies. You're please. telling lies. It was Albert I hate Boot. Nah, get away from me. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flash? <laughs> Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. Revelio. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all What the hell does that mean? Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but Let you're all in trouble with Professor Black. Lumos. Revelio. <laughs> <laughs> What? Three, zero, I don't know. So, one, two, three? Like that? This one, what do you mean by zero? What? This is the first year my Revelio. Our poor mother doesn't know what to do with her time, so she knits. Jump every week. My little sister. Revelio. That's not necessary. I don't understand it. Where's the third one? Professor Wesley, we go. Bum, 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 bum. Hero? Oh no. I think we're going to be ended off here. And then the next one will be meeting Professor Handy Weasley. Resource indeed, your field guide. Thanks. I'm most pleased to be included. What? That just grow? Lumos. Accio! Levioso! 
What's happening? Why is it changing like that? Alright. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Levioso cat. <laughs> oh, I love you also the cat. No cat. Come here, cat. Levioso. I'm sorry, cat. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.